Hi guys, welcome to our channel Fast Cabling. Now, do you have to place multiple cameras more than one distant location? So what is your first thought? Are you thinking using a one to multiple connection? But actually, you can have a better choice or a more effective method. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a wireless bridge point-to-point -point mode to connect with three IP cameras. Now please subscribe and like our channel, Fast Cabling. And we love hearing from your feedback and ideas. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Let us know what you'd like to see more of on our channel. So when we need to connect multiple devices using the wireless bridge, the most common solution is to use a point to multi-point mode. And here's what the setup will look like. Now, we need one master bridge, also named the primary bridge on one side, to be the receiver. And three slave bridge, also named the secondary bridge as the transmitter on the other side. But actually, there are some drawbacks here. The setup will become complex since we need power supply for the wireless bridge and the devices. So installing three cameras will need total six power supply unit. Also, wireless bridge send the signal straight forward. For the transmitter that are not in store, straightly facing the receiver, the signal will becoming weak. And connecting with multiple devices will also decrease the bandwidth. That's why I strongly recommend to use the point-to-point -point method. But how do we achieve that? Now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you what can we do. So here we are in front of the demonstration board and behind me is the whole setup. And no worries, I'm going to explain it in just a second. First, we need a pair of wireless bridge. And you can see the wireless bridge is installed facing to each other directly with no obstacles between. The wireless bridge can create exclusive wireless channel between the two endpoints and only authorized devices can access and reduce the traffic passing through the bridge. The signal will cannot be easily interfered and the bandwidth waste can be efficiently reduced. Now, you can use the wireless bridge in a large area at a greater distance. But wait, our wireless bridge can only connect up to two devices at the same time. So how can we connect with three IP cameras? Here comes our baby right here. This is the PoE switch. The PoE switch used the PoE technology, which stands for Power Over Ethernet. It can send both power and data to each edge devices. So with the help of the PoE switch, now we can install up to seven IP cameras at the same time. All we need to do is connect the PoE switch with the wireless bridge. Now, the point-to-point -point wireless bridge can establish a direct link between the two remote locations over long distance with high bandwidth, while the point-to-multipoint mode can provide a lower bandwidth. That's why I strongly re recommend the point-to-point -point method. And without saying, let's do the whole connection together from the beginning. So let's do the connection from the beginning with the router and VR and a monitor. The monitor will show images after we connect with the IP cameras. Let's connect the router with the NVR using a short patch cord to the uplink port. All right. And another short patch cord here to connect the NVR with our wireless bridge. Now, the wireless bridge offers a plug and play connection, which means you can match the wavelength of this bridge to another bridge by pressing a single button. And there's no complicated configuration you have to do on your phone or a computer. And I will show you the button later, okay? Let's plug the cord into the port. You can see we have two ports here which means it can supply up to two devices at the same time. I'm going to plug in the power source here 
And you can see we have M and S here stands for the master's bridge and the slave bridge. This is the master's bridge, so I already put on this side. And this is the button that I talked about. This reset button allows you to change the channel to match with the other bridge. Now, this is the signal bar. You can see the indicated lights are on. The more signal you get, the stronger signal you have. So you can always check for your signal over here. And let's turn to the back. This is the number of the channel. And you can see it's at zero now. I'm going to go ahead and press the button and change it to channel one and remember this number because we have to match the number with the other bridge and let's come over to this wireless bridge you can see the power source is already plugged in and now i'm going to use an ethernet cable to connect with one of the port here and I'm going to use it to connect with the PoE switch later on. And since this is the slave bridge, and make sure you turn it to the slave side. And this is also the reset button. Now I'm going to set the channel to number one. Let's see here. All right, so now we have matched the number. So this is the PoE switch. You can see the PoE switch already have the power supply built in. That's why it only need a single power cable. There's no big black box here for the power supply. And we, it leaves us um, seven port to use because totally it have eight port. But remember, we have to connect the wireless bridge to the PoE switch, that's why it will take up one port. And I'm going to connect it with the wireless bridge to the PoE switch. And remember, I'm installing three IP cameras, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug in three Ethernet cable here. One, two, and cable number three. Okay and three port are ticking. Now I'm going to use the ethernet cable to connect with the three cameras. One, two, and three. You can see the indicated lights are getting on. The cameras are getting power and data at the same time. And also, I only use one power plug here for the PoE switch and another one for the wireless bridge. And you can see the cameras are getting on. Let me show you, this is, all right, the three cameras are already on and it's a live cameras. Now the setup is all done, it's pretty simple. Here are some tips on the wireless bridge. First is the position. Make sure you install your wireless bridge facing to each other directly in a line of sight with as few obstacles as possible in between so it won't block the signal away. Second, always test your edge devices before you do the connection to make sure they are working well. Last but not least, this is an outdoor wireless bridge with IP65 waterproof so you can use it outdoor perfectly. This PoE Switch outdoor version is IP67 waterproof so you can work it under harsh environment. Even though the wireless bridge has bandwidth limitation, but affording 7 IP cameras at the same time will be fine. Now, if you want to install IP cameras in even a further location, you can always use the fiber optic cable. And you can watch the video right here on how to install IP cameras with fiber optic cable. Now, thank you so much for watching us today and I will see you next time.